Welcome to this brand new episode in the Channel Mum First Aid course, talking about how to manage deep knife or puncture wounds. Sadly, teenage knife crime is on the rise in the UK and it's important that we all know what to do should the worst happen. What I'm going to do now is to show you how you would manage potentially a deep puncture wound. So the first thing we're going to do, say I've just come across Becca, uh, maybe she's fallen over a glass coffee table or fallen into a uh, dishwasher, maybe with a knife protruding. So we don't know exactly what the injury is here. First thing we're going to do is put your phone on speakerphone and dial 999 because you need to get emergency help to you as soon as possible. And then whilst you're waiting for that help, a good thing to do to start off with is if you possibly can, you get a polythene bag, cling film, something like that to place over the wound first. The thinking behind that is you're protecting that wound from getting any fibres or any contamination, any dirt into the wound. And really this is all about applying pressure. So you want to apply firm pressure onto this wound. A significant wound like this to the abdominal cavity could nick a major artery and that could mean that you could be bleeding literally sort of two litres into your abdominal cavity. So you may not be able to see very much on the surface but you could be losing an awful lot of blood inside. So it's really important that we apply very firm and consistent pressure on that wound. Don't be tempted to take your hand off and look and see what's going on. Keep that pressure on the wound and try and stay as calm as you possibly can. Keep talking to the patient, reassure them until the emergency services arrive. So in this scenario, we couldn't see an implement in the wound. If, for example, there was a knife um, sticking out of this wound, then we don't remove the knife. That knife is potentially acting as a plug um, and to, to stop the worst of the bleeding. So we actually just put a pack around whatever is in that wound and apply the pressure around the surface of the wound. We never remove the implement. It's all about pressure. Get that pressure onto the wound and keep the consistent pressure to reduce the bleeding. You may well have heard about tourniquets. In actual fact, a, a badly applied tourniquet or an incorrectly applied tourniquet can potentially do more harm than good because you can potentially cut off some of the superficial blood vessels and allowing more blood flow to perhaps a deeper blood vessel which is causing the bleeding. It's really important if you can to try and stay as calm as possible. If you're calm that will be imparted to your child, um, it'll help them to stay calmer reduce their heart rate and potentially the bleeding and just try and keep everything contained. Keep talking to the patient. You may well find that the emergency services will be talking to you as well uh, whilst you're trying to stabilise things before they arrive. Personally, I would prefer to see the patient kept still. We don't want too much movement. We don't know what might be in the wound that could be very close to a major artery and you could actually cause more damage by moving. So keep the patient still, keep them calm. If you're outside and it's cold, make sure that they're covered with a jacket or a coat or whatever you can find to keep them warm um, and wait for the emergency services. So to keep things simple, my top three tips are dial 999. Apply consistent pressure to the wound. Don't be tempted to move your hand and have a little look underneath and keep talking to the patient. We really hope you found this useful. Please share the video with anyone who helps care for your children. And if you have teenagers in your family, make sure you watch it with them so they know what to do if they or a friend were hurt. This video really could help save a life. You can watch how to talk to your children about knife crime and find the rest of the Channel Mum First Aid course by clicking the link below.